Okay, just revving up for our non-royal Mad Hatter's tea party. Uh, come tomorrow, you know, treats, cakes, coffee, tea, laughter, and no aristocracy. <laughs> and no costing the taxpayer lots of money. Okay, so yesterday we did earth signs. Today we're going to do air signs. Um, and let's start first with gorgeous Aquarius. The gorgeous Aquarian women. Well, I'll tell you, they'll be right collectors. They're right little magpies. They love little bits and bobs, and they have a fantastic eye for anything that is slightly kitsch or avant-garde or from different eras. They love intellectual men. They love quirky men. They love to talk. They're very um, interesting women to be around because their minds are very peripherally minded. And they'll look at things from both sides of the coins. I, I can't really say that there's anything about Aquarian women that I don't like. I quite, I quite like them. They're quirky. Aquarian men, very interesting. I can never decide whether they're going to be... Um, well, actually, <laughs> they could be very bisexual. Um, they're emotionally quite detached at times and stand back. They draw closer to very stronger, dominant personalities, be they male or female. Um, they're quite fun to be around. They're interested in the arts. They're quite elusive emotionally, and women often find themselves drawn to these men because they're quite detached. Well, that's enough about Aquarius. Um, okay, now let's take a look at Libra. Libra are the scales, and Libra women, I have a lot of good Libra women female uh, friends, and they're very fussy and busy and have to be doing things and they worry a lot about everything and everyone and always Libra women are always trying to find perfection and yet because of this busy active way that they go about things they sometimes live in chaos so their design is to find perfection but in their business and finding perfection they can live in chaos at times and and Libra women are very kind-hearted um, often very good morals, very very loyal, um, and they do they do like to be very girly. Libra men, on the other hand, women do very much like because they're very deep and sensual, and they're very good companions with women because they can talk about all sorts of things. But they're very troubled. The Libra man is always the eternal martyr. They always feel so guilty about being happy. Can I? I don't get that. Now let's move on to Gemini. Gemini women. They like crosswords. <laughs> they like word games. They like intellectual pursuits. They've got a lot of male inside of them and females. So they're constantly at war with those two aspects. Sometimes they can be really girly. And sometimes they can re be really blokey. Men are really drawn to uh, Gemini women because they can never quite decide, you know, which side of the scale they're on. Um, they're they're fun, and a lot of people say they're disloyal, but I don't find that at all. Uh, they're 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 great to talk with, and and it's very hard for them to make their minds up because they can always always see the other person's perspective, even though they do have strong opinions. Um, Gemini men, wow. They age really well. They're very interesting, complex. Uh, you can't chase a Gemini man. He's not interested in that. He needs sort of a... a, a they love solving problems. So Gemini men like women that uh, don't come easily to them and aren't uh, bending to their every whim. They like a bit of a... They like a bit of a fight and they like someone who's got an independent mind. Anyhow, that's enough of that for today. I uh, hope you guys have a good one. I love you. I'll speak to you later.